Hey guys, this is Wanderson from MadLab VFX. If you like the content of this channel, like and subscribe. Uh, today I'm gonna show how I created this ocean effects simulation in Houdini, like these wind turbines. You can get this file for free at Gunroad. The link for download is in the description. Let's go inside Houdini and see how I approach the, the construction of these effects. Here's the Houdini project file. Let's dive inside for each node and see how I construct the effect. First, I use this large ocean here to create this surface node. Let's dive inside of these nodes and see the effect itself. When you create this ocean, large ocean, you'll be creating some nodes here. For rendering in Karma, you need to render in CPU because the shader created for this shelf here, in the large ocean, need to be using the Karma CPU because there's no shader, there's no ocean shader for the Karma XPU. And you need to do, to save the spectra here, apply the UVs to the grid, Make some deformations to avoid the tie repetition for the horizon. Let's see the background the light. This is the VOP to apply this deformation here. Let's see the construction here. First, we need to get the length of P. Create a fit node, basically with maximum distance like 5000. Create a ramp here. This ramp, sorry. This ramp, you could be controlled the length of the distortion. Like this. The rotation. You create a, like a fall off to avoid the tiling in the horizon. You multiply the ramp by this angle. Create a node with the greater radiance and rotation a matrix to deform this in the y direction here. And apply back, multiply the position, the initial position, by this rotation matrix and apply back to the position. This is a pretty simple setup. Let's see the wind turbine. How I constructed this wind turbine, like in this shot here. I just create one and the apply some instances in the grid. The result of the turbine is here with a simple animation. From the beginning, let's see. First I create a tube for the base. Match the size to align with the ground. Let's see the dark background that I like. I polyfill the top and bottom. Polybevel the edges. Then for the grid here, I create a circle. Match the size to align with the top of the base. Resample the points of this, this circle. Lift a little bit and merge with the bottom. I create the skin node to create the, the connection between these two circles. Convert this to polywire to make thickness like a, a metal structure. Scale a little bit and apply the name. This name is used by the shader. That's the base. And here is the tube, the, the major tube from the from where from where the, the turbine will be positioned here. This tube is super simple, like a tube. Group the top points, match the size with the bottom, make the top align with the word origin here, scale the top. 
polyfill and move this up there, align with the base. For the wind, the, the helix, just a tube, let's see the result here, the fan. Just a tube, apply a taper in the Y position using some VAX code here. Match the size align with the ground, polyfill the, the holes. Create a box here with the divisions in the Y position. Poly bevel this box, transform it at the side a little bit and create a mirror. Just to make a boolean to subtract it from this, this tube here. Twist a little bit to make it one piece of the fan. Rotate 45 degrees, subdivide a little bit, one, just one subdivision, convert this to VDB, VDB is smooth here, convert back this VDB to geometry, and apply a quadrant measure because we don't need so many polygons here. Transform a little bit, and copy, make it three copies, around the Z, Z axis here. Create the body of turbine, just a tube, taper in the Y position, in the Y direction, polyfill the ends, rotation, just to align with the fan, the structure, polybevel the edges, the hard edges, fuse, and merge the both together, just to make this structure. Apply the name to using the shader and create a transformer just for animation. Slow animation of the, the wind, the turbine. And that's the motor here. Just a simple tube with the same taper code, the VEX. Polyfill the ends. Rotation back here, apply some poly bevel, fuse, apply the name for the shader, and that's the result of the wind turbine. We are going to copy this on the grid and scatter over the ocean surface. Now let's see the instances. I have the grid position here where I need to scatter these points. Actually, we are not going to scatter points, we are just using these points of the grid itself. I just position here for the camera. Create a VAX node here, just for alignment. Using this script here, up, set to Y direction, and normal set to Z direction. And use for each here to make a copy for each wind turbine for each point with a different start animation. Because if you are just making the copy, the animation should be the same, but I don't like the same animation in all the turbines. I create a difference here using time shift inside the, the for each with some script here. Let's see the render. The render setup is pretty simple, just import the ocean surface. Let's see from the camera here. I create a geometry just for sky, like a, a cylinder without the top and bottom geometry. Apply UVs. Okay. Import the wind turbine lower a little bit the position and create another node here import the ocean and create another soft import just rename to ocean refraction just for refraction underwater lower a little bit here let's see all the geometry in the camera 
apply some Karma Dome Lights and a Dome Lights with an AGR file. The AGR file, let's see the file here. I just download this AGR file from here. That's the file that I download. The link you can see in the project file in the ground. Let's see the materials inside that are constructed. I'm using the ocean surface. That's the same material created here. When you apply, create this large ocean here, some materials are created inside the matte context. I just copy this ocean surface and copy back to the my stage lop here. I'm using the distal ocean surface. This shade for refraction, just a simple noise. Remapped it to a dark green and light green. The Karma Sky just the AGR file with some color correction here. The wind turbine just a simple shader, simple diffuse shader without increase the roughness. Wind turbine base, that's the base here. More dark material. Let's see the result of the render. We need to save the spectra because without the spectra, the the water is like a perfect mirror. Let's save the spectra here. Go back to the lop and reload the the render. That's the result of the rendering. Let's see the animation again. I just apply some correction in Nook. Let's dive inside the Nook and see a simple color correction here. Just to make more bluish tone. That's my Nook project file. Just import the, the render. Apply some color grading. Some color correction. Apply the noise to make the to remove the noise of this render. I'm using upscale here, but you don't need to use upscaling. Let's disable that. Apply a vector field to make a more bluish tone. Increase the the levels of the the blue. A little bit color correction here for apply the vignette. That's the roto alpha blur. Invert the the, the mask and apply a color correction here just to make the the vignette and save the file that's the result of my project you can download for free this file at girlhood the link is in the description if you like this content like and subscribe thank you guys see you at my next video